Okay. Right, so is, it, is this on? Hang on. It seems like you guys like Gavin Bazunu quite a bit because, you know, my my actual video, 13 minutes long, spent a lot of time editing that, leaked kits, I was reacting to them, what a video, like 10 views. Me talking about Gavin Bazunu for about 19 seconds has got, has got 90 plus. That's YouTube for you. There we go. But go and check out my other videos because they are linked in the description. I've spent some time on them. They're banging. But today, we're, like, we're looking at Gavin Bazunu because from a Pompey fan's perspective, as you see here, he has gone to Southampton. What do I think of it is the question. Well, I'm disappointed. Let's, let's be real. I am disappointed. I can't really say I'm that happy for him because, I mean, he's got to go deal with your lot's silent fans now. So he is going to be an incredible keeper and we just knew that move was going to happen. I mean, I think he was linked to Everton as well. But when you look at those two moves alongside each other, Everton, a team that are looking in disarray at the minute and also have a solid keeper already. Jordan Pickford, he's not going anywhere, is he? Because he's not getting interest from big clubs, despite the fact that he's been pretty decent. He's, he's not getting interest. He's Everton's number one and he'll stay that way. And I don't think Bazunu would challenge him after a year in League One. I, or, or two years in League One. I don't think that would happen at all. So, going to Southampton, who's just lost Fraser Foster to Spurs, which I don't know why they bought him. But I think it's a lot better of a move for him because it looks like he could be number one. From what I've heard from a lot of Southampton fans, Alex McCarthy is not amazing so potentially he could be pushing there will he flourish i don't know because like i say he spent what the last two years in league one yes he's been outstanding but that move up to a premier league side who and i'm not just saying this because i'm a pompey fan who are fighting against relegation aren't they because they've had a couple of tough ends to the season he's a very big step up and from Pompey where there's not as much pressure, I know there's that pressure of promotion but last season in particular there wasn't much pressure on those players shoulders because we weren't expected to get promoted, it was that transitional season from Danny Cowley so to now go into that pressurous situation where they're actually losing a lot of players, they could potentially lose Ward Prowse, I know he was going to go to Aston Villa last summer, that didn't, hap that didn't happen in the end but it's a massive step isn't it, I don't know, I just feel like unfollowing Pompey on stuff like that. No, it doesn't mean, you know, social media, it doesn't mean much. I don't have, like, like Twitter, like, Instagram or anything like that. I don't really care, but just to, just to unfollow Pompey and just take that step back from the club where we really gave him a platform, I feel like that's just a bit too far. I understand, obviously, Southampton are a rivalry with us. Yeah, he's playing for them now. He's permanently there. He is a Southampton player. To disassociate himself with Pompey is really not what he should be doing, I don't think. Equally, do you know what? Good luck. A lot of Pompey fans are saying we hope he's going to be their player of the season as they get relegated. We'll see you in the championship next season. To be honest with you, I... I don't know what to think about it because on the one hand I don't think you should go play for a club that's a rival of another club that's given you an opportunity and Pompey didn't throw him in the dirt, we gave him an opportunity, we gave him a platform, we played him every week apart from that first week where Bass played but then again I do understand for him that that is a massive massive opportunity so I do wish him the best of luck. I don't know what the re reception will be should we get a Carabao Cup fixture again? Should we get a FA Cup fixture again? Something like that. I don't quite know what the reception will be, but we'll have to see because I have nothing but respect for him at the moment for the job he's done for Pompey. And that's all I really have to say on the matter. What, what was it? 15 million for Gavin Bazunu. I mean, that's a bargain for me. I'm sorry, that's a bargain. Fair play to Southampton. Good luck next season. <laughs> you're going down. Pompey fans, for us, we got to push on. I think Bass should be given an opportunity. Let's see him next season. I still think they're trying to bring on some Brighton keeper on loan. It ain't going to end well. It didn't end well this season, so let's just not do it. Let's stick with Bass because he's a very good keeper. But that's all I have to say. I'll see you guys in a bit. Make sure you go check out my other videos, of course. 
Make sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you next time. See you later, guys.